to all my awesome YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. Curious on what I'm doing today. I want to talk to you about my battery backup system, uh, basically. And I want to explain more about it. And I want to explain on how I physically start the big old battery uh, backup system. I start out with a much smaller battery backup system uh, basically was with two small batteries in a small battery box. Now, I don't longer have that unit. I actually sent it out to one of my YouTube fans uh, basically and I do have my XL version of it, the big old version of it. It has uh, more capacity, more circuits, and more USBs and stuff on this unit itself but here's the thing everybody's gonna say you should always start out with something big old. and I'm gonna say this no you should always start out with something small to get comfortable of working on that device you don't want to short out the batteries you don't want to destroy your batteries if you're going to work on a battery backup system you always start out with something a little bit smaller and you can get comfortable and work up to a much bigger version of the unit itself. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Shall we? It's going to be awesome. I know a lot of you like to build things and you always want to start out with something bigger. But you should not. You should always start out with something smaller to understand what you truly are working on. Uh, basically, it doesn't matter if it's a lamp, it doesn't matter if it's a computer, it doesn't matter if it's even a battery backup system. You should always understand of how that item works. You should always make it small. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean, and let's go ahead and show you this battery backup system. It's freaking amazing, should I say. All right, and here is my battery backup system I made about uh, two years ago, uh, basically. And you can actually buy something like this pre-made, but I decided to actually make this unit myself and put more uh, things into it, uh, basically. On top of the lid, we have a switch for the LED strip light going across the lid. Uh, basically, and we do actually have um, USB ports. Uh, basically, I have five of them. I have three here, and I have two over here, and a voltage meter. And you're gonna say, Chris, does it even work? Absolutely. That works. And all the sockets work just fine. Is the voltage meter. Can't turn the light off. See? Pretty well cool. And we'll show you what the inside of it looks like too. I used to put a lot of safety in mind when I built this system. Uh, basically, yes, I can charge smaller devices like camcorders, uh, phones, and power certain things if I need to. I do have an inverter, but it's a much older inverter. I don't recommend me getting a newer inverter for this system. But I know I talked about this system multiple times on my channel. But I want to explain more about how I physically built the unit and why I use it today. It is freaking awesome. In case the power goes out and I have a way to charge small devices. It's freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and show you what it all basically looks like. This is the big old battery box. You can actually get a small one if you choose. And yes, I do have a LED strip light uh, front of the box, uh, basically. I do have a master switch to turn everything on on the top. I do have a charging port to actually physical charge the battery and a on and off switch to turn this on and off as well and a DC 12 volt cigarette outlet 
basically like heal to basically power anything off of that side as well it's pretty cool <coughs> let's go ahead and pop open the lid to show you what it actually looks like on the inside uh, basically it looks very clean looks very nice and organized we do have a 30 amp master fuse for the circuits on top we do have a 20 amp fuse for the cigarette outlet we do have my 10 amp fuse charging circuit for the battery the battery is right over here and I use these uh, posts the positives and negatives post and you kind of look over here there is the actual circuits on top of the lid it looks really nice and looks very clean uh, basically it's awesome a lot of you know ask me it's like Chris how do you charge your battery backup system well, I don't have a solar panel or a solar charge control, but I do have something else I can actually charge it with a regular outlet in my room, uh, basically with using a battery charger, uh, basically. But I'm not going to take the battery out of the box because it's going to be a pain to disassemble the whole thing, but I will show you the battery I bought for it. It's looking amazing and this is my charger this is what I use to actually charge the battery in my box and also I use this charger for the llama sometimes if you kill yourself what this is this is a separated ground block and there is the fuse block over there is by blue uh, systems this is the company who makes this stuff if I can actually show you what it looks like okay there it is that's the company who makes the ground block and the fuse block as well but let's go ahead and grab my phone and I show you the battery this is the battery I'm using okay 12 volts, 26 milliamps, last about 10 hours. And this is a sealed load asset battery. And this is what I use in this battery box. You can look this up on Walmart if you choose to. It's a replacement battery. And this is what I'm actually using in this battery backup system. It's pretty cool. I know I have talked about this battery backup system in 2017 and 18. I do apologize about me talking about it today, but here's the thing. I just want you to all understand of how I physically built this item and why I decided to basically customize a battery box instead of just going out to my store and just buying one. But here's the thing. I've been thinking about buying a soul panel and also a soul troll control for it to be more independent uh, basically to charge uh, from the sun that would be kind of cool that's one of the things I wanted to do with this system instead of just relying on my household electric uh, grid to basically charge it with this type of setup right here and this is fine too. I can charge my batteries with this unit. It's a very nice product and very interesting to actually use. It's not complicated, uh, should I say. It's very easy to plug into the side of my box, plug it into a outlet, and charge it. But if I, if, say, if I'm outside or something like that, and I want it to be charged by the sun, that would be kind of cool because here's the thing uh this can be taken anywhere uh should i say it's a very portable very unique system i have built now let's explain something to a lot of you you don't always have to build things that's all up to you if you like to tinkle and if you like to customize uh certain things and make things for yourself but nowadays we live in a society we can just go out to the store and buy sign. And the only thing about fixing stuff is, for example, 
people say, oh, throw it away, buy something new. And unfortunately, that's society we live in, uh, should I say. But all right, if you guys enjoy this on your channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And thank you so much for watching and have a very nice day.